I truly think their medical staff did what, what was the best they needed to do. Rachel Reichardt is the interim head athletic trainer at Buffalo State College. Andrew Ryland is senior manager of education and training for USA Football, the national governing body for that sport at the youth and amateur level. I think we saw the power of educated, trained people with very clear roles executing in the moment last night. Athletic trainers are the first on the field in the event of an injury. You saw that again last night. If we see someone down and they're not getting up, they get a few seconds and if they're not moving, you know, they're, we're there. And while they most often deal with strains and breaks, they also drill in life-threatening situations. We're all CPR trained as the athletic trainers, um, first aid and AED training and then you know, with spine boarding and cervical spine injuries were trained for that. USA Football says in certified programs at all levels, coaches and their staffs are trained to watch for signs of potentially life-threatening events and often in such life-saving measures like CPR. But he says it's also vital to have an EAP, which is an emergency action plan, which should be rehearsed ahead of time. Sometime before the season starts, you go out in the field and you have a walkthrough and you talk about roles and responsibilities and locations of whether it may be an AED or, uh, you know, the gate to get to the field so that the ambulance can, you know, come from the parking lot down into the into the spot. If practice is good enough for kids, it should be good enough for us. Ryland says parents should not hesitate at all to ask about the emergency action plan for their child's sports program. The story regarding Hamlin may also end up inspiring a lot of young people based on what they saw last night to perhaps pursue the field of athletic training or emergency response. On that note, Buff State's Reichert says the number one quality is that you have to care about others. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.